Hello everyone, how are we all doing today? So today we're back with another shell challenge. So thank you very much to, I'm going to butcher this name, but I think it's Spring, spells S-P-R-Y-N-G. Uh, the shell, absolutely incredible. I think it was meant to be for an apartment, but I made it into kind of like a cutesy little, um, like, I don't even know what to call it, like a little hut in a way, but I loved it. Thank you so much for the shell, it was amazing. Now, um, I'm going to talk to you a bit now about how you can get involved and how you can give your shells because I'm getting so many shells through at the moment that I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a rebuild challenge. So I'm going to rebuild um, Newcrest, Willow Creek and Oasis Springs, all in different styles. So I'm starting off with Willow Creek, which is what this was, um, and I'm doing like a kind of fairy, kind of out there style. You know what I mean? Like a mystical kind of style. So this part of the moment I'm doing is the swamp lands. So that's why there's a massive like moat around the house and stuff. I'm not going to spoil too much of it for you, but it looks really cool when it's done. Um, and then also we're going to have like Oasis Springs is going to be like a Mediterranean kind of thing. And Newscrest is going to be like all modern. I know I've already done some of your shells and I've done them both modern so they're both going to be in Newcrest. I promise I'm not just going to leave them out now. I will definitely put them into Newcrest. So now that I've got out, that out of the way, um, if you want to know how you can submit your builds to do this, um, you can either comment your gallery ID down below or uh, you can build a shell and put hashtag Kelsey Sims shell. I'll put the hashtag in the description below as well just so you don't forget it or anything. Um, but I would really suggest getting involved because I'm really, really looking forward to doing this and I would love it if like everyone could do it, you know, I'd love it to do like a little bit of a channel kind of thing. <laughs> um, even if you have already submitted a shell, um, submit again because we're going to need a lot of them. So feel free to do it again because I'd love that. <laughs> so, you know, just, yeah, you know what I mean. Um, but I'm really, really looking forward to it. So thank you to everyone who's already submitted. And yeah, now I'm going to talk a bit about the build because I've just realised I've not done that at all throughout this entire process. So I decided to make kind of like a fairy home, like that's on top of the swamp and stuff and there's like a bridge going across to it. I know Kim Goldblum's there. It could be her house. I'm not judging, but um, I highly doubt it though. So there's that. Um, I decided to make it really, really cutesy though with the little like bridge that goes across and stuff. And I just thought that'd be really, really cute to see that and like, it adds to kind of like the mysticality of it and stuff and oh, I, just, I just think it looks really really cool when it's done um the rocks around the edges you'll see them in a minute they took me forever my god it, it was like torture it was horrible <laughs> it just it really really annoyed me but i definitely had fun with this build because like i said i think it was meant to be an apartment shell but i thought no i'm not going to do an apartment i can't do apartments i don't have eco lifestyle or city living so we're going with a tiny little house in the middle of a countryside. I think that is so cute. <laughs> um, let me know what you thought of this as well. And let me know if I should continue doing this. Because some of you might not want me to do this. Some of you might just want me to just build the shells as they are. So when you do like do a shell and let me know what shell you're going to be doing. Just also let me know what world you want me to be in as well. Like I said, Willow Creek is kind of like the fairy mystical world. Oasis Springs is um, the like desert one, so that's going to be something to do with the desert and like shacks and stuff like that. Um, and Newcrest is also going to be modern. So just let me know which world you want to be in as well, and I will try my hardest to put you there. Um, but obviously it's first come first serve because there's only a select amount of lots and stuff. Um, also it doesn't have to be themed, just so long as each one fits to one of the um, lots in that area. That's my only like thing. Um, there's already two lots in Willow Creek that's filled and two lots in Newcrest, so just bear that in mind. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think I'm done with that now, I don't know. I'll pro there's probably more that's going to come to me because I'm really, really like indecisive and stuff, but you know, but we'll just leave it there for now. <laughs> um, so these rocks, like I said, it was really, really stressful, but when it was done, it really added a lot of character to the build and I really like that. So yeah, just it's kind of a bear with me kind of process. You know, like I was thinking about cutting all this out with all the rocks and stuff, but then I decided when it's sped up, it doesn't take as long. So, you know, there's that. And yeah, <laughs> it, it did take a long time for me though. So all I'm saying is it looks nice, but it's time consuming. So if you are thinking about doing that in your own builds, then yeah, it looks nice, time consuming. <laughs> um, so, I mean, there's that. <laughs> 
Um, I also was going to, when I first started this, I was going to do it on like a budget. Like I was going to make it into like a start home. But then quickly I realised that I could not do that because of the rocks and stuff. It just, it took way too much money. So it just, it wasn't working out. Um, but yeah, like I said, you can delete some of these rocks um, and just have it as a start home for your sims and stuff. You know, it is on the gallery anyway. Um, I can't remember what I called it, but it is definitely on the gallery. My gallery ID is Kelsey Keenan seven two seven. Um, yeah, just you can have a look if you want, but I don't know. I think it looks good though. But one thing I will say, if you do try and put place this lot, it's um, BB dot move objects on. Um, clear left because of all the rocks and stuff. Um, yeah, <laughs> so just bear that in mind. Uh, before you place the lot. I don't think any of you are going to place the lot anywhere because it stressed me out trying to build it, let alone trying to play in it. I don't even know if it is playable. I didn't play test it, I just thought it looked nice. So I just put it on the gallery anyway, like, if you want a bit of decoration, there you go, <laughs> you're welcome. So, um, yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm really, really tired. I've not been well recently, which is why I didn't post yesterday. Um, I've got a really bad throat and stuff, and it's very stressful <laughs> so um i've been focusing a lot on building and trying to get some videos done because i go to college and stuff so that takes up like a lot of time but yeah i do try and put my videos out on time as much as i can like before i went to college i was doing like one a, one a day but then i realized that was going to be impossible so i've had to drop to um once every two days like which is still quite a good schedule i think but like yesterday i missed it again and it does get annoying because of that, but I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I do try, though, just so you know. Um, I don't know how I would have done this build without the pond tool, though, so I'm really grateful for that. Honestly, this is an unpopular opinion, because I know loads of people like all, loads of the other stuff. But I think the best update that has come out of this game so far is the pond tool. I think that is the best one this year. I, mean, I don't mean so far because obviously there's a pool tool which was quite good as well but I mean recently this is the best one that's come out of it I'm just saying I think it's the best one um, you will notice at first as well that um, I didn't put a bathroom in I do put one in in the end but I have to move the whole of the kitchen because I realised afterwards like I was going to do it in that tiny little hexagonal area but then I thought wait where am I going to put a bed <laughs> so I had to like not do that um so i do end up just putting like a tiny it's not even like a full bathroom it's a toilet and that's it that, that's the only thing that's in the actual house um but the way i see it a fairy wouldn't need to shower i don't think so because they can't get the wings wet can they i'm just basing that off tinkerbell which that's that's the only fairy knowledge i actually have but in tinkerbell fairies can't get their wings wet so can fairies shower or do they just die you know <laughs> like this is what i was questioning myself about throughout like most of this build is the really important question of do fairies shower or do they die <laughs> so you know that that was fun um but it's a serious question though so with that in mind i thought they wouldn't need a shower then would they they just need somewhere to go to the toilet so i just built it into kind of like a little almost outhouse in a way Except it's not an outhouse, obviously, because it's not out of the house. Which is basically what you need to be an outhouse. I don't know, I'm really tired, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing too well, but yeah. Um, I thought that was really cute in the corner with the, like, the little cubby hole that's like full of just random stuff. I think that's very believable. I have a lot of clutter in my room, just because I'm messy, I'm really messy. But yeah. Also, something I didn't realise until recently... Do you know what them, like, shoe racks? You can set it so, like, your sims don't wear shoes when they come in. Just by clicking on it and then say, don't wear shoes. I never knew that. I tell you what, you do learn something new every day. Because I had no idea that you could do that. And that's really, really cool to me. Because I love stuff like that. Like, little tiny gameplay elements like that. Because normally, I'm not a massive advocate of gameplay. I'm not a massive fan of it. Just because I find it really repetitive. When you don't have all the packs, you do though. It is very, very repetitive and very, very like hard to um, like I don't even know how to describe it. It's just it just makes it more difficult when you don't have all the packs. It gets very, very boring very, very fast. Um, but I do like finding like little nuggets of gameplay like that. I think that's so cool that like 
your sims don't wear shoes when they come in and then with that like you can make like a mosque or whatever i think that is so cool like i don't know i, I just find it amazing <laughs> so thank you the sims for really impressing me with really random stuff um to be honest i'm glad that i forgot the bathroom at the start because I was building this and I was thinking, what am I going to do with all this empty space behind the couch? And then I thought, wait a minute, there's no bathroom. So I ended up building the bathroom. The whole thing was moved forward and it just looks so much more cosier and stuff. I think it's, oh, I just love it. <laughs> it's just, it's so cool to me. Um, I, I get impressed by very small things. I'm, I'm a bit like that though. <laughs> um, so yeah, like I did skip out the bit where I built the bathroom. So this is the bathroom now. It's literally just like a three by one place it's got the door then it's got like a little bit of a corridor then it's got the bathroom and that's it so <laughs> yeah <laughs> um i also realized when i was building it that um i'd left the modern door on by accident until like right at this moment and i thought oh well that's not the best thing in the world it wouldn't really make a lot of sense to have like a really like cozy cottagey kind of house and then just have a really modern door in the middle of it <laughs> you know what i mean it just it wouldn't make a lot of sense and as such so yeah but in the end, I do end up removing it and putting like one of the actual like cottage doors in, you know, the ones from the cottage living pack. That pack literally saved that bit, this build because without that, I don't know what I would have done. Um, there's a lot of stuff that contributed to this build, to be honest, that just weren't base game at all. Well, technically, the pawn tool is base game, but at the same time, it's not, is it? They, they added it in like a future update. When I think base game, I think the game that they gave us right at the start. Well, not us, because I haven't been playing it. I've only been playing it for like a year. <laughs> but um, they gave you right at the start, you know, the game um, where there was like no ponds and no swimming pools and stuff. The game that was basically rubbish. That, that's the game that I think of. But anyway, we are coming to the end of the build now. So thank you so, so much for watching. Thank you to Spring or Sprang. I'm so sorry, I don't know your name. Um, but I would definitely recommend checking them out on the gallery. Speaking of the gallery, don't forget to put hashtag Kelsey Sims Shell. And I've got a short little montage, so I'll see you all next time. Bye.